In this video, we're going to talk about the peg ratio. The peg ratio is equal to the price to earnings ratio divided by the earnings growth rate, which I'm going to abbreviate as EGR. When the peg ratio is low, it indicates that the stock may be undervalued. When the peg ratio is high, it indicates that the stock might be overvalued. Now the price to earnings ratio, it's equal to the price of the stock divided by the EPS or the earnings per share. Now, let's say we have two different companies, company A and company B. Now let's say that the price of the stock for company A is $50. And we're gonna say that company B is trading at the same price of $50. Now let's say that the earnings per share of company A is 2.5. And for company B, we're gonna say that the earnings per share is five. What is the PE ratio for these two companies? As was mentioned before, the PE ratio is equal to the price of the stock divided by the earnings per share. So 50 divided by 2.5 is equal to 20. And for company B, the PE ratio is going to be 50 divided by 5, which is 10. So looking at the PE ratios of these two companies, which company would you say is undervalued and which one is overvalued? Now, company B appears to be undervalued with respect to company A because it has a lower P.E. ratio. Company B is trading at 10 times earnings while company A is trading at 20 times earnings. So looking at the P.E. ratio, it appears that company B is undervalued with respect to A. But now let's calculate the P.E.G. ratio or the PEG ratio. Let's say the earnings growth rate for company A is 20%, while the earnings growth rate for company B is 5%. Now the earnings growth rate that is used in different finance websites to calculate the PEG ratio may vary. Some may use a five-year earnings growth rate, while other websites may use an annual earnings growth rate. So you might see some variation here, but just to keep things simple, let's use an annual earnings growth rate. The PEG ratio is the P-E ratio divided by the earnings growth rate. So 20 divided by 20% will give us a PEG ratio of 1. 10 divided by 5% will give us a PEG ratio of 2. Now, like the P-E ratio, a low PEG ratio indicates the stock is undervalued, whereas a high PEG ratio indicates the stock is overvalued. The difference between a PEG ratio and a PE ratio is that the PEG ratio takes the earnings growth rate into account. Thus, as we can see in this example, the PE ratio doesn't give us the whole picture. The PE ratio tells us that company B is undervalued with respect to company A, but the PEG ratio tells us that company A is undervalued with respect to company B. So the PEG ratio gives us a more complete picture of the company than the P.E. ratio because it factors into account not only the P.E. ratio but how fast a company can grow its earnings. Therefore, if you want to analyze whether or not a company might be undervalued or overvalued, the P.E. ratio is still very helpful. It's still wise to take that into account. A low P.E. ratio indicates that the company might be undervalued. It's not a guarantee, it's simply an indicator. Whereas a company with a high P.E. ratio, it may be overvalued or it may be undervalued if you take into account how fast it's growing. Because there are some companies with high P.E. ratios and the stock price continues to climb higher, especially the companies that are growing fast. And so that's when you want to take into account the PEG ratio. So you want to look into both of these ratios. If both the P.E. ratio and the PEG ratio is low, that's a strong indication 
that the company might be undervalued.